um, dancing, like footworking at house parties. Like, I'm young. First, let me say, I really appreciate being around so many wives, legends in here. Like, when y'all saying y'all have done danced in 93, that's when I'm just being born. So it's just like, <laughs> so I'm like, whoa, I am around too many legends. So I really, I feel honored and I, I really appreciate each and every one of you, like, before me, seriously, even you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I started at house parties. Um, our house parties was probably different from y'all. So, like, in the basement, red light district, and dancing and hip rolling and everything like that but every time a juke track came on like a full rate track um i just wanted to be different some of the girls was like bobbing especially girls who had like the butt and everything like that they want the bob i wanted the full work so i'm just with the boys like full working at the house party they're like who is this girl and everything and then um going on i started dancing with this group called aggression that's on the west side. Um, shout out to Miss Reese C. Jasmine um, and her sister and everybody like that. CJ from Heat Squad. Um, and mm -hmm. the first person who saw me full work outside, because I remember I was in front of La Folly Park, um, just came from my first dance down, because I'm like, ooh, it's a lot of people up at this park. What they doing? So I snuck into the park. I'm seeing um, Sky's the Limit, Main Attraction. Um, 187 and so many other groups dancing against each other and i'm like oh i could do that okay let me see so i'm in the front full working and one of another legend his name is eli um he really taught me my first irking jerks like oh you're doing it wrong so this is how you do it so i always say he the first person who um taught me how to like really full work for real and i started battling at the age of 13. don't want to be a bad influence to my daughter but i like but I, I, yeah, hear, so I hear what like, you're saying. So, yeah. Um, and actually, she was um, one of the first person on camera who I battled. So she's really the first person who really blessed me into the footwork world, into the battle scene and everything like that. So that's how I started with footworking. You got in that circle together. You had to get blessed in, sis. So. Marta, how'd you come? Oh. Well, I'm a Chicago baby. I'm from the ins and outs. So I always seen the culture growing up, but actually getting involved and taking it serious. I remember one time I was looking at Can TV, and everybody could contest. Elma and Company was lit. And what Elma and Company was, um, it was his own television network. And um, what they would do is they would host all um, black entrepreneurs, black businesses, like dance crews, um, anything that you had going on, they were making sure that you was spotlighted on that. And I had seen a crew called uh, House Arrest too, and they had performed and they had like these masks and stuff on, and they was getting it cracking. And I was just a young little girl, and I was in a, I was trying to footwork, and my sister always danced. And I never forget my uncle. He came into the house. He said, "What the hell you doing? You look like you having a seizure." And at that point, I've been having a seizure ever since. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, um, you know, but then later on in life, I just had to be a young little girl. Later on in life, once I got about 14, 15, I really started taking this serious. And I had a friend um, by the name of Lazaric. And um, he footwork. He was the best footworker in school. And I'm like, man, I want him to put me on. Put me on is, you know, put your moves, give you the moves. And he died. Um, he passed away. The police shot him. We still had problems then within the community with police not being able to uh, facilitate the situation. But um, he killed him. A wrong time situation. I'd rather him been locked up and, you know, wrong, made his made his rights wrong. Well, wrong rights. You know what I'm trying to say. But um, it was around Martin Luther King's birthday because we had a break. And, and um, that kind of hurt my heart. Around that time, I was discovering footwork, and my cousin he put he put me on. Well, I seen it, but I never was in the life. That's a difference from you being at the party, everybody. Hey, but are you in the life? So he was telling me everything. He showed me everybody who everybody was, right? So I, I felt like I was equipped before I got in the game. So he said, "This is this. 
and then they do this over here and this is this and i was sitting there watching that video i say i got it i got it we watched that video and i went directly outside my house and i created a video and i footwork i should still have kept the video it went viral before viral was a thing and then i went to while i cam because i was just so ambitious like i want to go where everybody at and i went to while i cam he had a thing called the war zone and um i went there for the first time and people had who was hot in the streets but no one had ever saw me before so i was kind of like new to the game so they're like who is this so it was like right around town who is shorty who is shorty you gotta battle her you gotta battle her and um after that it was lit i was with the guys it was pressure i wasn't scared i would let them know i wasn't scared and this was a time where videos and cameras was becoming a thing and social media was becoming a thing. So I'm like a baby to social media and what's going on. So we were like posting this shit. I had like, I was a fan. I had people who I came into the game and was like, I want to battle. It was some people who I couldn't battle. You know, my favorite artist was uh, Tot. She danced for creation. She was so cold. She was the coldest to me. I couldn't battle her. She got into a car accident, uh, but she was good. Um, that was all. That was who was cold to me. Uh, everybody else, I'm smoking. I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> <laughs> but the parties, um, going to the ring, going to Rainbow, going to the Nitro, sneaking into Nitro. Yeah. I was sneaking into them joints. I thought I put on my best thick pants. <laughs> I had my rap with my comb in my back pocket <laughs> and we went out there and um it was just so fun and it was just so lit and the cool thing about while I came I'm just uh he was just such an impact on the transition coming from house and juke because yeah. juke is the baby of house yeah let's not get this wrong that is the mother you know and no one man runs this house but we do have many houses and things we got going on and in yes. this house the transition and some house hands are like the kids are giving up on it. It's not. It's just a new wave and sound. And even when they hear it, they still like, we're going to hear some footwork to this shit. So the 120 to the 160 is still there. And I want to let my house heads know you are the mother. And we do adore you. And we do love you. And we do appreciate the sound and the music and the peace that comes with that. That's all we hear where it's just shooting and ain't shit going on. Because the crime level was going up. It was hip hop. And we had house. And that was transitioning. You get what I'm saying? There was a lot of crime and shit going on. But that's what took us. The music just sped up. But the love is still there. Yeah. I so, would agree. I would I'm agree. sorry about that. That's I just okay. get passionate about what we talk I about. I understand. My bad. I understand. No worries. I would agree that that juke and um, footworking is an extension of, of the house culture and that you guys have your own culture. And you, a point that you made in speaking is that it is um, a child of social media. Um, that, that culture, that that uh, footwork culture and juke culture is something that I have seen the way that that culture uses and the way that you guys use social media to um, sort of battle by video is something that's really uh, a, new, a new thing and a new development in it. And I think it's something that has taken your culture a little further, a little faster in the mainstream than some of the other cultures. What do you think about that? Um, I feel like Cause like like she said, we grew up in it. I feel like it's still the same as like everybody comes together. I feel like the social media part came about um, really growing faster when it had came with I say COVID because again we still like came around. We still had places like underground food work places like War Zone Battlegrounds, um, L and L. We had Detro, um, his spot. So we still had the, the stuff, but social media did play a big part because of like COVID and everything like that. But other than that, you still it's still some underground battles that a lot of people didn't get to see that's legendary. And they didn't use their phones because we were so caught into the moment that we couldn't like, okay, let me grab my phone. No, we finna battle, we finna battle. And like she said, like she smoked, it's like, I don't want smoke, but I don't duck no smoke. Cause I already know, like I still have a lot growing to do. Like I have been in it a long time, but I know I still have so much more to learn. And as far as with the house, like, like she said, that's the mother. And I feel like I have to go back to the mother, the mother, before I even flourish to 
being called a legend in the footwork world because that's the foundation. When I've been seeing the house heads doing their, their running men and everything like that, I'm like, okay, that's right. what we do. The shaking base, when they jack, I'm like, those are all the moves that we do, but a little bit quicker. So, yeah, so social media, it play a big part, but it's so many underground legends and battles and events that happen without social media. So it play a part, but not a real big part to me because I'm more of the authentic. Like, I wanted to say, like, like the energy like we can't share this with nobody else we can but if they if they're not here present in the in the energy that's their loss but if you see it on social media that's cool as well but i'm more of a present here and right now type of person mm -hmm. About the I, energy, feel yeah. I feel you sis but you know murder mama gotta tell you a little something hey, and put you on game you something. so i would have to say it gotta go with the social media I grew up on the YouTube. Uh, this back when we was 05, 05, well, YouTube really had hit, hit, 07. Yeah. But 06 and all that, we put that out. Um, and, and I have to say, Walla Cam, I got to, he's not here, but he was on Channel 19, and he, he helped facilitate on YouTube, a basis channel, right? When we, when he was broadcasting us, we were getting hundreds of thousands of views. We were getting thirties of thousands of views, and people were coming to Walla Cam, and they would come to Walla Cam to showcase us, or he was getting people uh, looks, right? And around that time, we had Missy Elliott coming to find the main attractions and everybody else to go in to lose control videos and things of that nature. And we was hitting 106 and Park. We had, we was lighting up 106 and Park with Juke. They gave us our own. Uh, 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 what was that? And it wasn't a Friday. It was like a Thursday. They gave us our own Thursday. Then we went to commercials. We went to the Verizon Wireless. Then we did that. Then you had Footwork Kings to go to ABC. Then they did that. Then we uh, hit TV some more. Then we still going. Yeah. We still going. And that that's what we I We still mean. using virtual. I just not did. We just did a whole theater virtual performance in this theater right here. Links Hall. I did Chicago's Takes 10. We did it virtually. You mm -hmm. could see that. And we in the theaters. So it's been playing a role for a long time, baby. For sure, but I feel like it's not a big, like, it's not I don't a thing. feel like it's a big role. I feel like present here and now is more of a big role because you can actually say, I was there. Instead of saying, Facts. oh, yeah, I saw that. I can replay it and, and look at it and I can go forward and fast forward. But when you're in that moment, it ain't no fast forward. It ain't no backtracking. You there. So I feel like being there in the present plays a big role far as Chicago footwork. While I can, before he got to YouTube, he was on Can TV on Channel 19. Facts. You have to watch, you before YouTube even got there, you had to watch on Channel 19. In real battle. Saturday night. Real time. In real time at 11 p.m. Route 66. So, yeah. So it just, you had to talk I about agree, it. but it wasn't, I feel like to me, it wasn't a big role. Like, like big I role. feel like now here in the moment really paved the way for everybody to get to to the Verizon Wireless, to 106 and Park, and all that. So. Correct, sis. Well, let's get in the presents. Let's go.
can I just say I'm tired for y'all? Baby. Can't be tired. I got tired watching. No, uh, baby, we could have kept going. Oh. We could have kept going. I just got started. Yes. And see, that's the part. The stamina that is required. Come on now. Don't play. That's because it comes from above. Yeah. You get that energy source to just make you go. And that, you that's... ain't thinking about the breathing. Once you get the breathing, that's like walking or riding a bike. Once you learn your breathing and running, you gotta control this vessel. You gotta control the spaceship. How you how you go? How you can't drive your car? Yeah. Turn the fuel down. Put your brake down a little bit, and go. And do you feel that it take over you? So yes. And to your point again, your everyone has mentioned as they come up here the connection that their dance makes with them to to a source. The connection, the feeling, the energy, and if the energy ain't right, if the space ain't right, I can't do, I can't be who I am. Everyone has mentioned that, and it's good to hear you speak about that energy as well, that that energy flows through the dance. Um, one thing that I kind of wanted to hit on, but not really, a, a lot of times um, in the media, not social media, but in the media, footwork is associated with trauma. And as, as a response to trauma, I just wanted to hear both of your take on that, on that dialogue, that perspective. Um, it's not a source of base to go to, but you gotta understand the circumstances that we go through and what we've been and why are we trying to be free and why are we trying to express ourselves. You gotta have a shadow moment and come into realization with yourself. No, it's not a go-to for no trauma. But yes, it is a go-to because I'm going through trauma and I ain't trying to do what these other fools out here doing. If I could battle, if I could shoot you in the round, that's cool. If I could hit you, if I could let how, if I want to scream right now as loud as I can, I can. And for that moment and second after that, I feel okay. I am fine. I have release. So some people don't understand what footwork actually what it does and what it conduct. But one of the main constructors and conductors of footwork, how you can manipulate, it is a dance that to release anger. This dance is constructed to release that negative energy up out of your body. And you feel good. You feel good after you exercise or whatever you do. That is the conductor for that. Each dance has its own power and perspective. Mm -hmm. It's its own body language. Some people don't understand it because it's too fast. Look, when you first born, your heart is beating at 160 BPM. Some people don't know that. Now we dance into it. How do you work that body con conductor? We have found that in a form of fashion or way that you can take this negative energy, you can bottle it up and you can cast it out and project it to be something so beautiful. It comes out to look beautiful because we look like frequency in itself. We're moving so fast, I, my hands is doing this. When you play the music on a computer, remember back in the day, so you used to have a little, mm -hmm. we look like frequency. Mm -hmm. We are moving that fast that my hands and my legs look exactly like the frequency you're looking to. Cause we're casting that out. So I don't take it as, it's a trauma dance. No, cause they gonna cast that on to black folks like we just trauma. Mm -hmm. No, you don't understand that I'm utilizing this time with this space and I knew that this was a conductor and this music made me feel this way and I have this inside my body I don't wanna hear. So to flush myself, I'm gonna feel free. Go ahead. Leave it on the floor. Go ahead. Um, to piggyback on it, like she said, this not a trauma dance. Mm -hmm. Um, we do go through trauma, especially being in the inner, inner city of Chicago, as far as with violence, um, abuse, seeing people who have substance abuse, growing up around that. Um, I went to full working because of that. I had a parent who was on substance abuse, who abused it like periodically for as long as I can know since I was born. So instead of like going the route, I feel like that um, full worker was me like, breaking generational curses and everything like that. So no, it's not a trauma dance because you can full work happy, sexy. Yes. Um, we got sad. all the trash. Yes. Not, not just you angry, like 
But we got every track you can imagine like you for can. your emotion. Yeah. So it's just like, yes, it's very aggressive, especially because it's really male dominant mm -hmm. and everything like that. So people will be like, oh, footwork and this trauma. No, like she said, it's a lot of things that we as in an inner city, probably people who's um, suburbs, but I'm talking specifically about the inner city of, about what we see all the time. And footwork was like, it probably looked like we're fighting, but it's really all love. It's really a safe haven. It's really protecting. It's really a family bonding. So it's not trauma, family like bonding, said. understanding. It's, it's a bonding, very much understanding, exchanging. Like we battle, but we most definitely exchanging what we feel. So she'll be mad. All right, you mad? I'm happy. So we're going to try to <laughs> balance it out. Meet in the middle. So and you I'm take that on and, 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 and you and okay you with that. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's just about it. We're not a trauma den. We just go through a lot of trauma and footwork really help us release whatever energy that we have. Cause it's not just about being mad and being negative. You have that positive as well, where you can, somebody can be so light on their feet, they bring it light. Like they bring in yes. that light. Even their facial energy. expression yes. to be, they sticking their tongue out. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, that's fun. That's funny. They having fun with it. Um, I could say one, one footworker, actually two. Um, DeAndre and J-Ron, they're so light. Mm -hmm. They're light, like, like they're really light people inside. So when you see them on that floor, they'll be like, oh, this is, they're full working, but it's a different type of feeling. That's that happiness, that, that inner peace and everything like that. Like, they'll probably be mad sometimes, but in their rounds, it's just like, that's that light. That's so you could dance aggressive, but we always gonna have light and full work. We're not a trauma dance. We're not. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. So now I feel like it's time to watch your feet. So let me let me get some artifacts on the screen. Oh, look at that pretty picture. All right, Don. Can you tell me about that image? That is, I may be big, but I'm light. <laughs> Um, this was really a time where I was just really going through a lot of, like she said, shadow work. Mm -hmm. As far as just having people around me that wasn't really good to be around and really like removing myself, not changing myself or like changing them or trying to be like confrontational. But it's just like, this is me. Like, I might be the big, thick girl who can move her feet light, but at the end of the day, I work hard. I am a very much hard worker. I probably don't work how other people work, but I feel like my work is hard enough and it's good enough. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing this picture right now. So it's just like, yeah, I'm leaning over, but I'm always have my balance. I'm resilient. I might bend, but you would never break me. All right. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Y'all get this wrong. <laughs> Y'all done put some stuff together because I've been working hard. I want to shout out to my production people because I look, I'm gonna keep it real with my cast off. Y'all like family. I've been working hard. I ain't had nothing. Go ahead. But what I can go is off this point in my life, I was very transitioning and transforming. Um, no, I don't have a lot of pieces today. If you come back, I had that for you. I promise you. But what you got today was a resilience of where I'm at now in the movement, even what I'm wearing. I'm going to a show tonight. I'm wearing my flowers. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as the queen. And at that point in time, I was transitioning to my life and really getting heavy in theater and letting people see in the background, you probably saw a shine in the shadow. That sun was hitting me, baby. And we hitting it on where I'm going, where I'm standing. And I'm standing strong for my yes, people sir. and my community. I do yes, so many sir. things. I teach the children. I teach dance in the educational field, sixth to eighth graders. I teach to my community on the west side, south side. I'm the artistic director of my own company. I'm the CEO. I'm the artistic director of Bringing Out Talent. I'm the, also a soloist performer. You're looking at the first soloist in theater. My first time ever performing was in this place right here and for me to even have a round the circle about moment with my sister who I gave for her first theater moment on this damn floor and I was the first person you battled look at that full circle little sis 
Sis is the truth right here. She next. She is a queen. You get what I'm saying? She the truth. And she putting a, and, and she's putting a, a remarkable stamp in this field for what we're doing. Yes, we are social media babies and things of that nature, but we're taking this art form to the next round from going backstage. I mean, well, from going from the from the uh, rinks and town halls to the alleys and to, to the forefront of... YMCA, Austin, Man, to, 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 to today, what I'm wearing is an example of representation. I ain't need no photos or video. I did five, I'm doing five shows in four days, and tonight is the last show. And every show, we packed house and sold out ticket, baby. And I think we was packed in here tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. It's it's a it's a full circle for you guys, and I love to see the connection and the passing on of the torch between between the two of you. So I just want to say thank you to the both of you for sharing with us today, and. Thank you. I